What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We got some of the best power we could open here in Time Time Twister. Um, yeah. What if we take it? Do we ever really leave the internet when it lives in our pockets? It's solid. It's deep. I like it. Anybody we know here? <clears throat> I kind of just want to take Time Twister. Hot Ones is collabing with Reebok on a shoe. Oh my god, that's wild, dude. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god. Man, 2020 just doesn't stop with the wildness. I'm going to take Time Twister. I don't like Time Twister. I don't think it's good. But if we get Leovold and Narset, maybe it ain't bad. There's an Urborg. Uh, an uh, Ur Urborg. An Ugin. Wow. <laughs> There's an Urborg. Oh, boy. Polluted Delta might be better, though. It's probably Delta. Yeah, let's take a Delta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing super exciting here. <clears throat> Maybe a tundra? Hmm. Could be cultivate. Seems weird, but if we're trying to hit that Leovold, this pack is also not super exciting. Chandra's decent. Let's cultivate. It's the card my heart drags me to the most. And that's important. There's a Fallen Shinobi, you know? Uh, I'm gonna... Um, okay. There's also a Golgari Signet and a Breeding Pool. But, you know what? Oh, Scarab God is nice. Brain Freeze. I'm taking Scarab God, man. Ooh, Tinker? I think we're still early enough to be a Tinker deck. Yeah, I'm going to take the Tinker because it has the highest upside for a 6th pick. I feel like I've been very, very heavily leaning to... Oh, wow! Tinker into Blightsteel? Okay, well... That seems good. Wow, that's that's bananas. The literal back-to-back -back picks. Oh my god, someone's probably like, Dang it, I gotta pass a Blightsteel! I always get upset when I have to pass the uh, second half of a combo after I pass the first half of a combo. Mine's a desire. Jeez. Hmm. So we've seen Brain Freeze and Minds of Desire. I do not think we're a Storm deck whatsoever. Thank you! It's a late guy's cradle, and I have literally no idea why it would table. 
I'm just going to take it. We don't know what's going on. 15 months? My God. Remember that time I got stuck in a microwave? <laughs> you know, I do. I do remember that time. It was wonderful. Katie today, when she was getting something out of the microwave, her sweater got stuck in the microwave. So. That was good times. Show and tell. None of the signets came back. Okay, you should put a uh, you should put a notification on your phone each month so you remember to subscribe. <laughs> you must have a huge micro. Yeah, she just fell right in. It was pretty wild. Ooh, Beast Within or a Turn Timber Symbiosis? Or I'm gonna take Turn Timber because it does let us cast Blightsteel. Well, it does lets us put Blightsteel in play, let's say. Oh, Nissa came back? Nissa come back? Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I should use my phone for many different reminders. I don't use technology to it's it's true. She really doesn't. That's okay. Is Miles Morales surviving? What does that mean? I mean I don't think he's dying. Colagon's command last pick? Some people got problems. It is unfortunate that two of our signets, uh, Golgari and Demir, have both been... Ugh, God, I want the Bayou, but I also want the Treachery. Ugh. Ugh. I think it's Big Tretch. Tretch is too good. Bayou might even come back. <clears throat> I mean, how has the game been going? Well, those are two completely different questions. Uh, game has been great. I've enjoyed it tremendously. Knight's Whisperer. Hmm, Azorius Signet could be just fine. Just fine. Just fine. Hmm. We only have two green cards that are actually... Well, we also have Cultivate, actually, so that's pretty good. And we have Turn Timber Symbiosis. I'll take Signet. Avenger of Zendikar, Jace Brin's Prodigy. <coughs> Grave Titan's pretty decent. I think we're just taking Grave Titan here. I will begrudgingly take this Botanical Sanctum, I think. I don't love it. I don't think Force of Will is going to be great for us. I don't know how many blue cards we're going to have. Acidic Slime being double green is not ideal. Same thing with Garrick, but we could get better. It's really interesting to me if they thought Tinker was ever a, an okay magic card. But they saw Tinker and they're like, oh yeah, this is totally a reasonable card. I mean, maybe at the time that was just a fine choice, but...
Baleful Strix. Oh, Hissing Quagmire and Ravenous Choops as well. Also Time Spiral. Which goes well with the Narset Leovold combo we're trying to assemble. Let's take the Time Spiral. I think this has the highest... Would that come back? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Three cards are coming back. I could always just go to 11 and subtract 8. Also Strix is great with Tinker too. I think we're taking Strix here. I think it's just better for our deck. Rather than Time Spiral, which is better for the deck we want. Oh, I do like a Maelstrom Pulse. Yeah, Maelstrom Pulse seems good. Yeah, Tinker was Legacy. Do you guys want to know a cool trick to tell the, uh, the different Urza's apart? This is Urza's Destiny, because the Flask kind of looks like a D. You can kind of form a D out of the flask. Uh, Tinker, the hammer looks like an L, so it is legacy. And if you trace the gears, like if you go around the gears in Saga, it looks like an S. So, it's an easy way to to tell which which set you're looking at. I kind of like Damnation here. I had to come up with that little, I guess, I guess it's kind of like a mnemonic where like you, I couldn't, I could never remember what set was which. I was like, gear? Uh, a hammer? I don't understand. So then I was like, well, this is destiny. And like you can kind of go down the back and then like the right side looks like the, the D. So yeah, it's, it's easy. Once you know you're looking for those, it's like, oh, well now I can see that completely. Well, the bayou did not come back, but the creeping tar pit remained and that's pretty good. Uh, Stone Cold Serpent, also good with Tinker. <clears throat> Urza? Urza's pretty good. Ancestral Vision's fine. I don't want to take another off-color Signet. Ugh. It's kind of meh. Maybe it's fine? Actually, both of these allow us to splash white. I want to take the Signet. Sure. Yeah, I don't see us needing a Languish, but... Oh, dang it. Time Sprawl did not come back. Vindicate did, though. Which is actually not terrible because we could... Oh, wow. Vindicate and Anguish not making back to back. We could almost splash it off of, like, Azorius Signet Celestia Signet. Oh, and there's a Shambling Vent to help that. Maybe we're just four color, no red. <sighs> no power again. It's unfortunate. No Leovold either. Thran Dynamo doesn't do much for us. I do like Rex Sage. Rex Sage is always proven to be very, very good. I don't think we're an Ancient Tomb deck with three colors. Thoughtseize is fine. Get the Urza. Tap the Blight Steel for a blue. In case you just need that extra blue mana, you know? Yeah, I think it's actually Thoughtseize. This could have been Mystic Confluence, but Magic Online playing. Could splash this Tefri. We have the Shambling Vent and two White Signets and a Cultivate for a Plains. Um, I kind of just like I kind of just like Eternal Witness. Mystic Confluence is always meh anyway. Holy crap! I've never come closer to banning someone. It might just be Teferi. Yeah, I think it's actually the strongest card in this pack, which is pretty comical. There's an Orzhov Signet, and then we literally have all three Signets of our color that also help us with the white. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Yeah, we'll take that. I think it's better than the, uh... Oh. Consecrated Sphinx. It's also a Splinter Twin, which is interesting because we just passed a Deceiver Exarch. So just like we got the Blightsteel Treachery, or, uh, Tinker, someone else is now gonna get Deceiver Exarch Splinter Twin. Good for them, though, you know? <laughs> Council's Judgment, eh? 
And for, this pack is actually pretty terrible for us. Just take Mind Slaver. We could take Porcelain Legionnaire as another Tinker Target. I don't think that's good enough, though. I just want to take the Mind Slaver. Maybe we'll play it. Also probably going to play Vindicate if we're splashing for Teferi. I definitely think Vindicate's also good enough. Hollowed Fountain. We can get it with Polluted Delta. That's pretty good, actually. Um... Yeah, that seems good. Oh wow, that's a nice late thieving skydiver. Now we can actually take their artifact and sacrifice that to Tinker. We could also even play Mindslaver just as another Tinker target in case we end up drawing Blightsteel. Assassin's Trophy. Not terrible. You can also sacrifice Scarab God to Birthing Pod to get one of these two guys. <laughs> and then it still comes back. That's kind of cool. Not great, but, you know, kind of cool. What if Feldar Retreat? Hmm. And we have Vindicate and Maelstrom Pulse. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Felidar Retreat. Maybe that card's good enough. Rex Sage seems great. I was kinda hoping it would come back anyway. Uh don't care about Taiga, unfortunately. Take Shriek Maw. Felidar Retreat is like a four mana Gideon that you can't attack. This deck is very, very wild. I think we're taking out Time Twister. It doesn't do anything for us. Sad, it was our first pick. We did not see Leovold or Narset. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. <clears throat> um, I actually take Treasure Cruise. Wow, the Splinter Twin came back. Okay. That's pretty wild, actually. This is also our only double black card other than Grave Titan. Maybe just cut the damnation. Mm, Council of Judgment seems great. I don't think we're going to play it, but... Oh, Sphinx is actually not terrible. It's a good Tinker target. Makeshift Mannequin also not terrible. Interesting. You're more like a 3-drop. I can see playing Shriek Ma here, too. All right, let's see what we got here. Probably playing. Actually, I don't think we need a planes anymore. Well, we do have we do have um, we do have cultivate. So yeah, we're still gonna play one planes. Which is funny because we have one, two, three white cards. And we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six white sources here. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Cut a blue. Probably add another green. It's a lot of green sources, though. So this is four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is four, five, six, 
four, five, six, seven, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven, six? I think that's actually fine. All right, this deck is kind of all over the place, but we've kind of been like trying different things. We tried to go in on Time Twister. It didn't work. I mean, Cultivate fixes our mana in our four-color deck, so, I mean... Eh, this guy's pretty bad. I want to mulligan the sand. Sand's better. Uh, let's ship a swamp. So I want to see if we're going to draw another black source. If we are, we can get Hollowed Fountain. If we're not, then we can... Actually, we definitely need a Hollowed Fountain. We, just, we can actually just get probably... Uh... Yeah, we're just going to get Island here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mind twist for one. Hanger back for one. Fascinating. Huh. Treachery, snap, cabal ritual, Liliana's triumph. Actually, not bad. Triumph gets to kill Treachery. Um, I'm tempted to just take this next turn. They're not very close to Treachery mana. Although one blue lets them steal our Treachery. So I think we actually take Snapcaster. I mean, them getting like him to Torok on us is pretty bad. This is also an instant, so they could like respond to us activating the hanger back with it. And second island. No second island. I'm just going to pass here. We could attack with Shambling Vent, but then they pump this to a 3 3, kill our Shambling Vent. It's not ideal. No, well, we still know all three cards in your hand until you put this one. Additional card in your hand, and now we don't know. <laughs> Opponent's graveyard does explain a lot, yeah. It's kind of, it's really a board state you can piece together pretty easily. That's a good one. Come on, Maelstrom Pulse. Oh! That's better than Maelstrom Pulse, just to be clear. Cast with Kicker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's really sweet. Especially because their hand is specifically uh, not meant to deal with artifacts, so that's cool.
wow, stealing course of portal is extremely good for us. We're also going to keep this alive because it makes their Liliana's triumph worse. Sure. <laughs> That's actually fine. Okay. Wednesday the 18th is the two years YouTube anniversary of the Modern Colors Control Deck video. That's wild. How do you know that? I had no plans on playing it again. I mean, I definitely played if someone wanted to, like... Oh, good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. This is awkward because if they if we treachery and they treachery back, um, <laughs> one two three four five six seven, then they actually they get to keep the creature because they're destroying the treachery. But it does get them to use the treachery, is the thing. Having Cabal Ritual in the deck is kind of weird. <sighs> Plus it stays tapped, so that's kind of cool. Um, Actually, let's just use lands here because we have a lot. Use this guy and this guy. Treachery. This jabroni. Pay one, two, th one, two, three. Okay. Two, three, four, five. So we have seven mana. We can use four of it to activate this guy and then also Maelstrom Pulse this. That would be actually not bad. I think that's actually pretty good. And all of my things are their things. Course of Portal, the Fourth Opter tokens. We got two of their three cards, unless their third card is like pretty magical. I mean, Treachery Pulse got rid of their 4-4. It got rid of the potential for them to make tokens, and we got 4-1-1 flyers out of it. That's not bad. I just rewatched it and noticed the date. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay, they're just going to get something. Let's see what they get. So we're still going to know all three cards in their hand, I guess. It's going to be a Damnation. It's going to be a Demonic Tutor. Okay. Got it. So, Tutor into Tutor. Sounds good. Oh, well, now they do have Cabal Ritual. And by that I mean Threshold on Cabal Ritual. So they can go 5, 6. Yep. Now we can do okay. One, two, here comes Cabal Ritual. Yep. Okay. Don't know what they're doing when they have Treachery in one of their card, but... Dark Petition? Oh. Okay. This doesn't seem that great, right? Like... They only have one blue. Oh, they can go Demonic Tutor again. To get, like, Tendrils? But that would be all they can do. They can play hanger back for zero.
So all they need to do is they have to storm for seven. Okay, they got Lion's Eye Diamond. Yep, that's pretty good. Treachery's gone. Uh huh. Mystical Tutor, Impulse, get get tendrils. Sounds good. That's annoying. Cool. I roll. No, well, we can definitely take damnation out. Oh wow, we're not playing turn tumor symbiosis. That's pretty stupid. I kind of like Sphinx of the Steel Wind here. They do have Treachery. Do we have anything that cares? I mean, like, we have we have both. We have Rex Sage, Vindicate, Maelstrom Pulse. Uh, and we can bounce our thing with Teferi. That's pretty good Treachery protection. Uh, time Twister to empty their graveyard seems terrible when the way we, em we empty their graveyard is by giving them seven cards in their hand. Uh, I'm pretty sure all all team members were invited to the Invitational. We just, I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't know enough about it. I didn't look into it <laughs> to play. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just play Treasure Cruise. I, I don't know what else to add here. Like, it could be Sphinx. Yeah, this seems fine. Fascinating. Well, no land, so that's unfortunate. Oh, fascinating. I'm just going to make this a 2 2. If we draw Tinker, like, I want to have it on board. Yep. So you played a Swamp. That was solid. We do have 17 lands on the deck. It's not like we're playing fewer lands. Oh, what up, Music Manly? <laughs> I kind of like that, actually. All right. Let's Cultivato. Uh, I don't think we need a white, but I'll take one anyway, just in case. It's got a white and a green. Uh, make it 2-2. Two, two. 
Uh, make a two-two. Look at these ferocious cats. Do they make cat beasts? Huh. Who would have, who would have thought, you know? You got it. So we know you have Inkwell, Tendrils, Cabal Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond in hand. Okay, so they don't have anything to to deal with Tefri here, really. Mm, no permanents really seem returnable here. Ooh, Garrick. Gary Weil speaker. Well, they've been hitting a lot of lands, and we know four of the five cards in their hand. Uh, one, two, three, four. Good old Gary. Untap you and you. And you should be dead next turn if you don't actually have an answer. Just put counters on cats or all creatures? On, on each creature you control. That's pretty good. I mean, they have to, like, they have to tendrils now, right? So we know four of the five cards. One of them is Inkwa Leviathan, which does nothing. Uh... -huh. There's tendrils for three here. Yep. They could crack this. Yep, Yawgmoth's one on the stack cracks. Of course, that's of course they had to have Yog. It had to be the one card they had in hand. Sure. Yep. Well, they only have seven cards, so that if they play Cabal Ritual, I don't think they get five. I think they get three. So, yep, cool. Four. I don't think it matters, but, yep. Thank you! And Dominus, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Almost a year. Where does the time go? Uh, sure. Just we're just running up the clock here, I guess. So they're gonna go six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they got it. Jesus, it's so annoying, dude. Move states, bases, had a sun, deployed, time flies. Dude, that's an... Uh, Teferi did nothing. Was there a way we can get around to this, maybe? Not really. I don't think Maelstrom Pulse or Rex Sage would have done anything, really. Cool. Cool. 
Yep, sometimes you just always have it every single game. And this is why I just don't have Star on my cube. I just think it's a fucking miserable archetype to play against. Where, like, even if you do your best... Like, I think our deck was actually in a great position against any number of decks. We have Rex Sage in hand. Maelstrom Pulse in hand. We have a couple Creature Lands. A couple Planeswalkers. We're actually doing great. And, like, we just have to sit there and wait for our opponent to jerk off until they literally just win with one card. Okay, cool. You got it. Can I interact with you at all? No, not really. Oh, okay. Well, have fun then. It's just not a fun archetype. Like, the best part about the Vintage Cube, the best part is the interaction and the cool plays and, like, the, the fun things you can do. And most of those things end quickly. Splinter Twin combo, tinkering out a Blightsteel, Channel Emrakul on turn two. Like, all those things, two seconds later, we're done. We're going to the next game. I got it. You did something cool. It happened. Let's keep playing. But I have to sit here and wait for, like, ten minutes just for a fucking tendrils to resolve. Like, it's the one, it's the one, like, broken interaction in the cube that, like, not only do you not get to do anything about, but, like, you also have to sit there and watch your opponent do it because they might fuck up. It's just kind of, like, it's kind of unfun. I know, I know it's a contentious opinion because all the spikes love, uh, like, they have big boners for, for Storm, but... I don't know. For me personally, I just don't enjoy it, and I don't think it's fun for the the player on the receiving end. Especially, like, when they have to get lucky. They have to, like, oh, I gotta hit my 1 out of 20 outer. Oh, I did it. Got it. Okay, cool. Congratulations. kill this because it's got two colors this one or it, this adds two this adds one so i think the quantity is more important than the specific color when this might not even matter oof um well let's get in there and now we get a freebie And we still get to play this again? Oh, come on. Give me some... Give me some of the goods. Oh! Oh, wow. That's really sweet. Cast this. Uh, destroy an artifact. Get rid of that Gilded Lotus. I don't think I want to play this, actually. It is nice to know what kind of player you are on Smokestack. <laughs> You need your upkeep, you don't put a slip counter. Oh yeah, that's a good point. At the very least we get one we get one activation out of it. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> so because that combos with God in the sense of like, do I want to spend five mana every single turn? I don't know. Crucible with no cards in the graveyard? It's more likely than you think. Okay, we gotta we gotta stack this correctly. Um Put the soot counter on the bottom. Okay, sack versus zero. Yeah, we'll put a sooty counter on there. For sure we will. I ain't got no Oh I just I just put a land when I friggin' had fallen shinobi. I'm I'm an idiot. Yep, now we're going to hit lands. We did not hit lands. We did hit a Basalt Monolith. Does this do anything? <laughs> Nothing, right? <laughs> so we're just going to leave it exiled. Um, three. Three. 
I mean, you knew I had this. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> so this is what I mean. Like we all, all our stuff was interactable. You could easily kill a a fallen shinobi. You could easily, you know, stop me from connecting. You could easily not. You could play fewer artifacts. And it's oh, I forgot to put this in the deck. Dang it! No one's reminding me to put Turn to Symbiosis in the actual deck. I'm really disappointed in you guys. Um, it's another damnation deck where I just don't feel like damnation's good. So it's not a damnation deck, is what I guess is what I'm getting at here. Put turn to music manly, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm just gonna put council's judgment in. I think we don't have a problem really hitting white sources. I think we have like seven white sources, plus a cultivate. I'd rather have judgment than than anguish. Oh, uh, this hand seems fine. It's a little expensive. If we can hit a black source, I'm like. All about it. Do 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 black source one time. Give me a black give me a black into a cultivate. Oh, they just didn't say what? This is actually pretty good. We get to go Feldar Retreat next turn. Did they miss a second land drop? Did they just choose not to play land so they can get their library going? That's weird. That seems really greedy. Don't mana tide me, bro. Okay. I've done that and never not regret it. I can't even tell if I'm being sarcastic right now. Are you going to name Celestia Signet here? That's pretty funny. I like that. We'll play that next turn. Water Sports Drew, as Aaron Lewis says, it's been a while. Oh my god, that is a that is an that is a stained reference from the day. Good grief. Thank you for the reset, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Oh, now I want to kill this revoker because it just takes away some of their mana. The mana giveth and the mana... So you can actually Vindicate and then also play Cultivate off of the Signet. <laughs> Here comes Leovold. Ready? Pepperidge Farms is ready. Okay, that's not a Leovold at all. Now I just kind of want to Vindicate the Talarian Academy. Hmm. Well, this is the only land, so we're going to play it, make some cats. I almost kind of like treachery this guy. Okay, and I got. We play land this turn, right? We play forest. Sure.
There's just a lot of power on the board, and especially with Cultivate next turn. Like, this could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30. This is 15 damage. You want to you wanna shut off my mana? I'll shut off yours. Sure. You got it. Crucible of Worlds. And if they played Crucible, it'd be weird because they already played a land, so. That's weird that you played Island and then Crucible. But okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can put two lands into play, which is two counters. Which would be two, four, six, eight. So we put them to two. No, I can't use that. Dang it. Still fine. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play this. Put one, one counters on all our boys. Let's get a swamp. Another island. Put that into play. Put one, one counters on all our boys again. Um, that's a reveal. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, they're at two. Our hand is great. Like if they if they wipe the board somehow, we get to go tinker into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's not terrible. Looks like Ulamog maybe. Hydroid Crassus. What? That's not going to do anything. Okay. Yeah. I was like, that's that's the end. Man, Felder Archer is pretty sweet there. These matches have been really lopsided. Like Charles Melvin would have done. Wow. I really hate having this in hand. I do like that we have all the colors, though. What do we do with Blightsteel? We have, we have no real way to get rid of it, is the problem. So this is kind of like... So you have to ask yourself, is this six-card hand better than the next six-card six hand? Oh my god, we forgot to turn Timber Symbiosis again. Cause this is a this is a this is a mulligan, right? Like this card's gone. So we have to be like, is this six better than the next six? I don't know if it is. I'm gonna keep it. Maybe they'll make us discard this guy somehow. I don't think we have that many natural ways in our deck to discard this guy. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Wow. Misha's workshop into fucking Metalworker? <laughs> oh, boy. I'll play in a Signa. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Big iron on his hip. <laughs> I'm in danger. I 
Oh, good. Signet, Chalice, Signet. So you just Chalice for three, right? And then you just play with everything Thank else. Thank you. Oh, God. Chalice for ten. Oh, what up, two-way? What up, buy Bitcoin? <laughs> oh, boy. I actually sold on my Bitcoin. I was not a Bitcoin millionaire by any means. It was just really like stagnant for a while. I don't know. I don't know what way. What, I don't even know what direction it's gone in since then. But only four. You got five mana left over. Huh. I was a Bitcoin hundred air for sure. Yeah. All right. Signet's gone. Chalice gone. Three, four, five. I don't understand why you wouldn't just do this for like ten. Oh, I guess you did do it for eight. Hmm. Oh, PP and Kiki. And they did not play Rakdos Signet? Why wouldn't you play Rakdos Signet first, then play P and Karen Alar? You had one mana floating. I'm so confused. This is all very very confusing yeah we have to assume they revealed all the artifacts they had otherwise they would have just made a bigger ever flowing chalice right man this is actually a decent position to draw damnation but we do only have one black Braid on the... Sure. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good one. Okie dokie. Not ideal. Not great, Bob. Yep. <laughs> well, have fun staying poor. Yeah, it's rough. It's a rough Bitcoinless life. Yeah, they have. I mean, like they have P and Kernel R. They can literally just go four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Nine mana, so they can sack three things, deal us six. Seven, eight in the air. They probably kill this, obviously. Okie dokie. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine if they choose to shoot two things at us. <laughs> Good gravy. I think we're just dead next turn. I mean we are dead next turn. Yep, this is a pretty uneventful game from our side. Okie dokie. Pernicious deed, despite our three artifacts, actually seems pretty decent. Hmm. Rex Sage, great. Vindicate, great. Maelstrom Pulse, great. I mean, like, Pernicious Deed for, like, three kills their whole board. Oh, my God. The Turn Timber. The Turn Timber! I really don't like that these aren't in your land pile. I know they. Sh I know they're sorceries default, but it's... I just don't like it. 
Because also it doesn't count as a land. Now it looks like I have 16 lands and then I can have to be like, oh wait, this also is a land. Um, I'm just going to play 41. We have three signets. I think it's fine. We'd love to play Kolagon's Command, but we have no way to do that, really. Okay, this is the dream, and we're going to try to live it right now. We just have to not draw Blightsteel in the next two cards. That's it. That's all we got to do. I thought this was Vintage Cube, not Living the Dream Cube. Good grief. Gazerma, my dudes. Today, Junior. What's the hold up here? You keeping your six? Going to five? Okay. We're gonna get a hollowed fountain. Yield until the next end step. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you watching Beverly Hills Cop? No. The heat is on is just literally stuck in my head uh, 24 hours a day. The heat is on. <laughs> Something's happening. Signet. One, two, three, four mana left over. Signet Chandra. Signet Doretti. Okie dokie. And then we're going to loop. Okay. Everything's happening. Um... So we can go one, two, three, four, Garrick, untap two, can't tinker off that. So we can just Garrick next turn, I guess. Dun, 
Oh, Crutch Jr. with the raid, buddy. What up, my dude? Light steel co losses against the red artifact. I don't feel like they're gonna have a great response to this, but what do I know? I ain't going to listen to your retweets. I won't sub. You won't get a dollar of my money. <laughs> Good. I don't want your money. Your money sucks. Got him. Oh, look at that. Blightsteel Colossus won us the game. What a time to be alive. I wish I had a two mana answer to like their stupid things. Languish might actually be better than damnation. We haven't seen anything that's that's damnationable that isn't languishable. Plus, it keeps our Scarab God, Grave Titan, Consecrated Sphinx alive. <laughs> Dude, Chris, these emotes are amazing. My money is the same money as your money, so your money's... Damn it. <sighs> Foiled again. Shriek is two mana, but against the artifact deck. I don't know how how versatile it's going to be. I'm actually going to take Languish out. It's just not a card I want in my opening hand. Also, what up, Team J, bro? Hmm. Oh, this hand does nothing. Hmm. Well. I wasn't watching, only listening. How dare you. How dare you. I feel like we keep it. Yeah, you like this, Chris? Whoop, 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 whoop. I feel like it's got all the colors but blue. I think we, I think it's all right. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Ugh. <sighs> okay. Hopefully they just don't do anything broken. They did mulligan to six. Oh. Metal worker into. Yeah, okay. How bad could this be, guys? Island off the top. It's another friggin' green source. <laughs> yeah, that's going around. <laughs> I won 80 to 20 and my opponent isn't willing to accept the results. Yeah, that's going around. <laughs> that's solid gold. Yeah. I know somebody else who has that.
I enjoy your Trump tweets a lot, but then again, I'm a European liberal, so hey. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Um, hmm. So we go to three, five. I don't first. I don't first see this. <sighs> and then we just die. Seven, eight, sixteen. This doesn't kill us. Turn timber, serpent wood. We're hoping to draw a removal spell next turn, so that we can kill this guy. We have a lot. And we don't have to play a land here. I, I want to play a land that isn't going to get killed if we do end up killing this guy. If we don't end up killing this guy, we're just dead to it anyway. Because I'm going to make a scene. One time. <laughs> oh, okay. Sounds good. Oh, boy. That's just gold. Oh, gotta do it the other way. So, one. Nope, still not that. Okay, two. Cultivate. Getting an island. And another island. Put one island down, play the other island. And we'll pass. Yep, this is just too many lands to deal with the Sundering Titan, unfortunately. Special. Oh, what let's can we let's hit a let's hit a treachery now. Oh good, they're gonna reveal blight steel. Play Karn. Okay. So we have two of the three cards in their hand. <laughs> Alright, well. Nachos. Buddy, I always want nachos. That's my secret. We can steal this in block now, though. Which is not terrible. I'm surprised we're alive, to be honest with you. We have a lot of blockers now, actually. I'm almost tempted to take the metal worker. Hmm. We have to keep playing lands, right? Stealing Metal Worker costs five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we can play Stone Cold for one. 
No, it won't untap, but we can block with the Thieving Skydiver. The problem is, like, they're going to have, next turn, they're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if they hit any artifact, they can just cast Blightsteel. Which is pretty bad. Down ticking Karn doesn't give them more mana. There's no artifact in exile. There's how would that give them an artifact? This is this is in their hand. This isn't an exile. Yeah, I think we just have to take this. And it gives us two blocks. Rick says one, two, three. One one stony boy. Man, around that time we were like, let's play languish instead. Burr, 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 burr. I mean that takes them off a lot of mana. And we know they have Rakdos Signet Blight Blightsteel in hand, so. Here comes Rakdos Signet. Where's a treachery when you need it? Where's a tinker when you need it? Yep, these guys are big now. I'm gonna have some of y'all. Give it to me. Gotta block both. Really need a Hail Mary here. Treachery's not even going to do it. Actually, maybe. We steal this guy. They have two creatures. We have one blocker. We have a shambling vent. Botanical Sanctum. Yes! That's exactly what the fuck we needed. That's great. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.